to be here in Idan Gimba uh, to celebrate the 500 millionth treatment. Um, now remember, those are treatments that were assisted by the Carter Center, but all of those treatments were actually donated by the people of the 14 countries where we have worked on neglected tropical diseases. So why, you might ask, are we here in Nigeria when we could have chosen any one of 14 countries to celebrate the 500 millionth or half a billionth treatment? And here's why. Nigeria is not only the most populous country uh, in Africa, but it has also been among the most afflicted by these troubling diseases. But of all the treatments, all these 500 million, 42% over 20 years were distributed right here in Nigeria. And last year, the number was over 60%. So that is why we chose Nigeria to celebrate this milestone. I, thank you. I want to emphasize that these treatments were delivered by tens of thousands of volunteers in some 20,000 Nigerian villages, just like Idan Gimba. So again, the success we celebrate here today is due to the fact that Nigerians are ready to work hard to improve their own health. And I want to thank today your government officials, as well as all the people living in those villages, for working together to deliver those treatments. I also thank our many, many partners here today. I want to say that the citizens of the places where we are privileged to work here in Nigeria, including Nasarawa State and the other eight states where we support the NTD program, have been a beacon for the rest of Nigeria in the fight against NTDs. And we really believe that you have piloted some uh, very innovative methods for dealing with these scourges. President Carter's legacy and the goal of the Carter Center is to wage peace, fight disease, and build hope. President Carter, working hand in hand with General Gowan, they joined together in the battle to end guinea worm disease here in Nigeria. And uh, we believe that on the heels of that incredible achievement, Nigeria can do anything, including getting rid of the five NTDs we are still fighting.